Let's talk about the use of face masks during the COVID-19 epidemic. Before this discussion, I want to alert you to the problem of disinformation in COVID-19. As an editor of the Journal of Infectious Diseases, I can tell you there's a huge amount of misinformation out there. We have a misinformation epidemic along with a viral epidemic. Let's examine the issue of face masks. A major misconception is that we don't need to wear masks. Some suggest that masks make a political statement. If you wear a mask, you must be a liberal. It has also been suggested that you are a wimp or a sissy if you wear a mask. These same people claim that the fake news has been exaggerating the dangers of COVID-19. It's just another influenza. What's the big deal? Careful epidemiologic studies reveal that this virus is highly contagious, twice as contagious as influenza, being spread by droplets when we cough, when we sneeze, and even when we speak. Let's look at what happens when someone is speaking. This study published in the New England Journal of Medicine used a laser light to show the droplets coming from the mouth as this subject speaks, first without a mask, and then with a face mask. I'm sure you will agree the difference is dramatic. Stay healthy. Great. Stay healthy. Great. Less loud. Stay healthy. Good. Are you recording? Yeah. Stay healthy. Louder. Stay healthy. Louder. Stay healthy. Nothing. Another worrisome finding is that 40 to 60% of people who are infected have minimal or no symptoms. Both you and those infected don't know they are carrying the virus. The CDC now recommends that masks be worn by those who are infected and by those who could become infected. As we end shelter in place, we need to use masks. And if over 80% of people faithfully wear masks, we can continue to decrease person to person spread. Remember, without any intervention, one infected person infects on average two to 2.5 other people. Infectious disease experts call this an R sub-zero of 2 to 2.5. They point out that if we all use masks, we can drop this value to below 1 and the epidemic will slowly quiet down, allowing everyone to go back to work. Masks may not be 100% effective, but at a minimum, masks will reduce the level of exposure. Exposure to lower levels of virus usually will translate into mild disease. Remember, studies reveal that COVID-19 is five to 35 times more deadly than influenza. Do you really want to end up in the intensive care unit on a respirator? Do you really want to infect others? It is important for us all to understand the consequences of disinformation. When we know the true facts about protecting ourselves and others, we can create a protective bubble that prevents us from contracting the virus. When we listen to unreliable sources, such as social media, politicians, and commentators who doubt and criticize infectious disease experts and discount their message, we are popping the protective bubble by ignoring scientifically informed guidelines and increasing the likelihood that we and our family will become infected. Disinformation is not only wrong, it is dangerous. Listen to the infectious disease experts. They have no ulterior motives. Their goal is to save your life and the lives of everyone in our society. Remember, the verdict on masks is unanimous among infectious disease experts. Wearing masks will save lives and allow everyone to return to work. Can I count on you to wear a mask and to encourage everyone you know to wear a mask? Thank you.